Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is me Patricia today coming back with another video and this video is about me sharing 23 life-changing things that I have learned in 2023. This is the last month of 2023 and I must say that I have learned so many things and I'm super 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 grateful for everything for my whole journey. Yeah. Let's just dive into the video and let's just check ki maine kya sikha is saal. <laughs> By the way, just before we start the video, uh, not just 23 things, I've learned a lot of things. But these 23 things are the most important ones that I have made a note of. Um, yeah, so let's just dive into the video. So the first thing that I learned, actually this was back in 2022, uh, in the month of October, to prioritize my health that was way way important for me to prioritize my physical health because i was in the worst condition physically i had like two to three diseases like fatty liver pcod blah 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 and all of those things but yeah as i prioritized my health i have seen immense benefit immense matlab bahut sara benefit so yeah i prioritized my health and i took care of my health by giving proper nutritious food like whole foods i went vegan so almost every other food that i eat is like nutritious um also to cut down on the junk food and working out is really important at least five times a week or four times a week i make sure that i at least work out four times a week yeah giving myself some time to also rest that is more important so that you can come back stronger and uh, i think that's about the point number one point number two mental health mental health utna hi important hai jitna physical health important hai physical mein tum sari cheez kar lo like you work out you go to gym you go for a running you do everything but if you don't take care of your mental health it's zero agar tum dimag se khush nahi ho to tumhara physical health ka koi matlab nahi hai so mental health bhi bahut importance rakhta hai so mental health ke liye what i do is i meditate i take the time off and i reflect on what is bothering me i journal sometimes and yeah that's really helped me a lot but yes that has helped me in credibly the third one is relationship with ourselves so we always talk about relationship with others like relationship with our parents relationship with our friends our partner and everyone else but what about ourselves we forget about ourselves and when someone leaves us, we then try to find ourselves. Instead, what we need to do is we need to take care of self, take care of ourselves from the beginning. Self-love is really important. Self-care is really important. Go give yourself a break. Go take that travel. Go just pamper yourself. It's okay. It's okay to be selfish sometimes and think about ourselves. And self-love is not selfish self-love is important most of us we don't love ourselves we can love others but we cannot love ourselves so that is the important thing that i have learned to love myself to be content in what i have plus also just adore the beautiful self i am main <laughs> apni favorite hu the fourth one is that words have power words are so powerful i cannot emphasize on this topic i have seen like a huge shift in my life um, the usual thing that we do normally is we always talk negative to ourselves in our mind instead change it to positive thinking like if you are telling yourself that oh my god i look so bad 
I have gained so much weight. Just say to yourself that I'm not in the best physical condition right now. I have like these, these, these issues. I'm going to address it. I'm going to spend this much time into the gym. I'm going to make sure that I work on this and I get over it. So that is one thing that I have learned that words have so much power. The way you talk to yourself reflects how you are going to be in the coming months and what it's going to, you know, actually help you. Like you tell yourself that I'm going to do it. Your subconscious mind just accepts it that you're going to do it, but you're confident enough that you're going to do it. So you do it anyways. So I think words have so much power and it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So relationship with money, when it comes to me, I do not own, own a lot of material possessions, but I think money as a tool of getting things and keeping it to that, not getting too much, atta too much attached to money, but keeping it only till it's necessary so it's different for me uh, about money i mean um, people do say that money brings them happiness and everything i think it does actually it does not bring happiness to me but it takes care of all my necessities so yeah money is important i know to get somewhere in life because we are in this material world right now but money is not everything you need to understand the psychology of money and how to make your money work for you so that is what i have learned i do like trading and i try and you know learn a lot of things from trading i am still a beginner i have not like achieved many milestones but but i am trying i am learning i am you know taking small baby steps to reach there but yeah, relationship with money has changed over time. Previously, I used to always, uh, you know, invest in FDs. I used to um, not think about investing in stock market or mutual funds. I used to not even, you know, take that risk. But now I do take that risk because as like, you know, finance gurus, they always say that 20s is the time when you take the maximum risks of life. Later in life, you might not be able to. But 20s is the time you do that. So, relationship with money has been wonderful. But yeah, number six. So, the number six is letting go of past. It is okay. People will come into your life and go from your life. And it is completely fine. Believe in God, have some patience and you will get your answers. That person that has to go from your life will go out. You cannot force someone to stay in your life and it's completely fine. The past actually belongs to the past. When it's gone, it shouldn't come back again because it is the past. It's meant to be there. It shouldn't bother you in your present or your future. So letting go of past is what I've learned in 2023 the hard way but I'm really really grateful that I don't dwell in the past right now before in 2022 I used to I used to dwell in my past try to get them back this that but everything happens for a reason and it's for the best so always don't do not dwell in the past I have learned that Number seven, taking risks and taking risks is so important. Putting yourself into that position, a challenging position every time, you know, shows you how much capable you are. You don't even actually know how much capable you are unless you put yourself in that situation. So taking risks, coming out of your comfort zone is really important. Recently, it's been four months. I've uh, resigned from my job and I started doing YouTube so YouTube and I started my own small business uh, that is Aurora Macrame you can check that out on Instagram and yes I have taken a big leap in my life and uh, it wasn't easy it was a very tough decision 
ट्रस्ट मी वेन आई से इट वॉज अ टफ डिसीजन फट के चार हो गई थी बट आई डिड इट आई टुक द डिसीजन एंड आई बिलीव इन माई सेल्फ एंड आई एम डूइंग प्रिटी ग्रेट राइट नाउ इट्स नॉट लाइक द बेस्ट बट I am learning so many new things about myself how man how, how I am handling things how thing needs to be done marketing things oh my god the learning is infinite so when i say coming out of your comfort zone and taking risks i was trying to do this from uh, 2020 but i couldn't do it in 2020 obviously sab ki fatti hai but finally i took the decision in 2023 and i'm so 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 happy so happy i took that thank you god thank you for everything <laughs> number 8 failures what is failure failures are nothing but a learning opportunity nothing else so failure to me is always you know uh, as a child if you fail on something if you fail in school or if you fail at doing something there are 10 people to judge you the society actually has made things so bad about failing if you fail you are nothing that is what the society tells us but that's not true no one you know no one talks about how failing is equally important equally important for you to learn new things the next time when you're doing things you're doing it with experience so how is failing going to impact you in any way it's just the society that puts us down with failing but trust me when i say you the failure word is just the meaning of failure should be it's a learning opportunity and nothing else failure is a myth there is no failure there's always learning there's endless learning oh my god i feel like i'm becoming this motivational speaker <laughs> my god i just hope i don't sound like a motivational speaker <laughs> but yeah failure is okay failing is fine go take that step and fail and just figure it out it's fine completely okay how are you going to know what you want when you don't fail right number 9 distance long distance things like not relationship but friendships friends do change with time and i think we all will change i mean i have changed a lot my friends have changed a lot because we are growing we are, we are adults and we will grow and we will change with time and it's completely fine sometimes distance you know teaches you a lot of things and it's completely fine i have friends who have moved to different country moved to different cities and it's completely okay you just know that the bond that you share with that friend is like pure and you know has some meaning to it and you will show up for them whenever you know you have to and they will show up for you whenever they have to and it's completely fine distance doesn't matter but friendship does you really you know get like five to six people in life who are going to be your your only friend those friends you don't have to miss out on so i think friendships are so important but distance really doesn't matter when when it comes to friendships so yeah number 10 trusting the process the process comes with a lot of ups and downs in life and it is fine it is okay just say to yourself that i trust the process the universe is going to guide me and the divine is going to help me with what i want just trust the process sometimes we doubt ourselves so much because obviously because of the society the way that social media works and everything else we always keep on you know blaming ourselves we keep on keep that self doubt inside us but we don't trust the process enough and we end up giving up it's completely fine just give it some time at least you were 
you are not at that position where you started from like the zero position that you started from you are somewhere and you've learned a lot of things trusting the process giving your all you know ultimate best in what you're doing right now will take you somewhere in life yeah so i have started to trust the process so much that i stopped blaming myself i stopped complaining i stopped so many things i just trust the process completely the god is there and he sees everything the universe listens to everything and they give it to you trust me so trust the process <laughs> okay number 11 is investment in learning the best investments that you can do is upskilling yourself so keep on upskilling yourself you know doesn't matter what age you are um you should always keep learning i try and invest my money instead of you know taking subscriptions to um netflix or uh, z5 or uh, disney i don't take these subscription instead i put this money into learning you know learning a new skill so recently i took the video editing uh, you know course and then i took the business startup idea uh, business startup guide course uh, which is really helping me you know like small things really help you it's not like a uh, rocket science you're going to learn slowly and steady i'm starting with the 5 am challenge so uh, that is waking up early at 5 am and actually i'm shooting this video at 6 am so good job <laughs> but yeah upskill yourself invest in your learning invest in yourself invest in your growth that is going to take you places that is going to change your life yeah instead of investing into things that is not giving going to give you returns i mean clubbing partying is not going to help you in any way it's good to party it's good to go for clubbing uh one time i've never been to clubbing my in my life but yeah it's okay to party and everything but investing in your learning is equally important very very important number 12 so sometimes it's okay to you know wind down sometimes it's okay to take your own time sometimes it is okay to take that rest if you are overwhelmed with everything around you it's okay to give yourself that leeway a little bit so that you come back stronger i've learned this the hard way i drained myself so much with all the work after i left my job um i put so much pressure on me that i was working till 3 am at night sometimes doing video editing working on the business uh doing so many things at once i don't even remember now what i did i did do a lot of work but it's okay to reset it's okay to take that rest don't be hard on yourself it's okay to relax so that when you come back you're coming back stronger yeah it's important to actually set a routine and then come back stronger i have been lately struggling with setting up a routine hope so with the new year i start uh, with my routine that's why i've taken the 5 am challenge but yeah when it comes to resting resting is equally important as working okay that doesn't mean that you keep on resting always but yeah you got my point number 13 13 the 13th one is like so so important because no one talks about it no one talks about it i don't know why but yeah the 13th one is understanding patterns in life life is going to put you into patterns again and again and understanding the signs so pattern and signs so pattern first how to understand patterns if 
there is something that is happening with you on a recurring basis like someone coming into your life breaking your heart then moving out again another person comes into your life breaking your heart moving out another person comes to your life breaking your heart moves out what what are the person you become right now when everyone came into your life and broke your heart moved out from your life you are now struggling you are now so underconfident you are now so vulnerable that you are not understanding patterns this is where you need to change the patterns as soon as you see that someone is getting attached to you or you are getting attached to someone you need to break the pattern there and there itself i'm not telling you know just ignore the good people coming into your life no not that but if you see red flags as they say <laughs> if you see any red flags change and break the pattern it's important for, for you to do that for yourself it's important for us to understand patterns first when you start understanding patterns and when you try to break the patterns you will see change in your life like literal change in your life can't emphasize more on this actually can't even give you any examples because that's going to be very too personal then but changing so these are the signs that you need to see how and what patterns are you creating for yourself the time you start understanding patterns and let that person you know come into your life and break your heart this time what you're doing is you're not letting that person come into your life or even if they are there you're not letting them break your heart by being detached to them when you're attached you break your heart right when you're detached you're not you're not breaking your heart you are just observing things the best thing is actually to observe everything and not being attached to it but yeah this comes with a lot of uh, you know practice into meditation and everything but um hmm so understand the patterns break the patterns come out of that you know all jamela when you understand the pattern and break the patterns you come out of it as the better person and then the universe the god gives you what you want this is for real you do get rewarded for what you deserve but only if you understand so when you are not breaking the pattern what are you doing you're actually clinging to that attachment right when you break the pattern and when you start you know detaching yourself you're actually moving to the higher version of yourself right and when you move to the higher version of self of yourself you don't have to chase anything in life you only attract you only attract things and the best of the things you attract yeah that's the best example subscribe to my channel please like the video please subscribe please comment please do everything that is necessary and i will see you in the other one till then bye bye